Hello and welcome to IBEX 2020. This is the Blue Sea Systems Custom 360 panel training. I'm Danny Asensio Hall. I'm an ABYC certified marine technician and the key account manager at Power Products. Um, this presentation is not just being brought to you by Power Products, but also our friends at West Marine Pro. They've partnered with us to give this presentation because we think it'll be valuable for you and your customers on how to design a custom 360 panel from Blue Sea Systems. This presentation is going to be a little bit different than most. It's not going to be a straight PowerPoint. We're also going to dive into a live system design of how to use our panel wizard software and how to design your own panel so you can be more comfortable with it. So let's get into it. So first of all, what is a custom 360 panel? Obviously, it's an electrical panel, but the main difference between a traditional custom panel that you may think of in a boat is it's a semi-custom solution. It is not a fully custom solution. And there's a couple of benefits to that. Of course, the first one is size. So we're based on a modular frame design. So essentially, you pick existing frame options and then you stuff those frames with custom modules so you get the flexibility of customization but the simplicity of an existing frame the other major benefit of that is you get much faster lead times than a traditional custom panel so we can get that out the door after order in just 10 days where traditional custom panels can be a month or longer another main benefit is because it's modular at any time you can swap those modules out and and in a traditional panel where a lot of the labels are silk screened in place, um, it's hard to replace those labels and it doesn't look very good when you do it. With these labels, they're just adhesive and at any time you can pull them off and put a new label on if you want to change what that circuit is. So a lot of benefits in the custom, the semi-custom design. Um, it is designed by you. So that's the other nice piece is this whole panel system works around our panel software. So instead of talking to someone over the phone or designing it on a piece of paper, you do this on software. So you actually get a live visual of what you're building to make sure it works for you and your vessel. So the frame is the backbone of the 360 panel system. The good news is, is we have a lot of different frame options. And like I said, it was a modular frame. So it's mean, which means that every single uh, box is a single module and those modules can be adjusted based on the modules that we have. You can see on the right hand side, we have all these different frame options that'll fit what you want to put into the electrical panel, as well as the space that you're putting this panel into in the vessel. Um, you can go as small as a single module, which is um, about 4.75 inches by 4.88 inches. That's what a single kind of square module looks like, all the way up to a panel that's five by five modules large and 22 inches wide. And that five by five panel can have a hundred circuit breakers in it. So it can be as small or as large as you want, as long as it's in one of those frame sizes that you can see on the right hand side. All right, now let's move into the modules. That is the meat of what's actually going into that frame. So you can see here all the modules that we currently have available and we add new modules every single year. So the best part about having a custom 360 panel from Blue Sea Systems is it uses traditional Blue Sea Systems products as well. So it's not just circuit breakers and electrical meters. You also get mini battery switches from Blue Sea Systems. The remote battery switch controls. You get the new OLED meters or a dual USB charger, a mini ACR, UL49 circuit breakers, anything else that you can buy as a standalone Blue Sea Systems product, we've tried to incorporate into the custom panel program so you don't have to give up anything. Those products that you want are going to be available for you in this program as well. Uh, the other thing that we always get asked is what voltages do you do? What amperages do you do? Do you do two phase? So um, what's really nice is we have DC and AC options for the panel and you can design a panel that has mixed DC and AC in the, in the same panel. So we have circuit breakers from five amps to 300 amps. We have single, double and triple pole breakers. We have A series and C series breakers. Uh, we also have UL49 breakers as I referenced before, as well as CLB breakers, which are pushed to reset. 
We have circuit breakers that are toggle, that are in multiple colors, white, black, and red. We have flat rocker breakers so that you won't accidentally toggle them by brushing them because they're recessed and flat. We have a raised rocker breaker, which allows you to have source selection for AC circuits. We have restricted off breakers. So like in the case of a bilge pump, where you want a breaker to always be on and only be off if you make a conscious choice to turn it off, a restricted off breaker you actually put a tool into to switch off that circuit like if you're servicing it so that's a really nice option as well on the ac side again we have breakers up to 100 amps single double and triple pole breakers we do do us and international voltages voltages so we do 120 volt ac for the us in 60 hertz we do european 230 volts 50 hertz ac voltage we also do uh, 240 volts us uh, double double pole as well, two phase uh, AC. So it's really nice. We do three phase options as well, but that's a custom solution. So you're gonna have to contact one of our specialists to do three phase. Um, we also have ELCI and RCD, which is electrical circuit interrupter, electrical leakage circuit interrupter options as well. Um, for those of you who wanna be ABYC compliant with your short power sources. Um, the nice thing about the custom 360 panel program is because it's modular, because you can kind of control the sizing and everything that's going into it, is it works in a wide variety of applications. As you can see in the picture on the left, we have an overland vehicle that's got a panel in it on a nice pickup truck platform. And then on the right, we actually have an, uh, a fire boat application, an emergency application. We've had them in traditional emergency vehicles and industrial applications and everywhere in between. It's not just your traditional recreational boat application like we think of here in the marine industry. So a lot of options for the program. So let's get into how to actually design it. So it's a really three, easy three-step process. On the right-hand side, you can see this is what our Panel Wizard software looks like, and we're going to dive in and do a live demo very shortly. So first, we're going to launch the Panel Wizard software. So you can go to panelwizard.bluesy.com, or you can navigate to it through the West Marine website, which is how I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, you design with the voltages, the frame size, and the modules. And then after you make those choices, you just are con configuring the modules that you've selected inside of it. Then you confirm the design and submit it for a quote. So the nice thing is, is after you've confirmed the design, we're going to give you a list price estimate for that. And then we're going to send it to a specialist to review to make sure the wiring is tangible. And then we're going to come back and give you a quote. So it's not like you're just pushing the order button. You get to review that panel, how it's going to be wired, how it's actually going to look. If there's any idiosyncrasies that you want to deal with, like busing on the back side of it, we will deal with that all up front. And then you can place an order and know that you're getting the right panel for you. So let me just quickly walk through the, the process in slightly more detail. First of all, you're going to select a frame size. You can see right here by selecting the frame size, it's going to define how many modules that you have available to plug into that. Next, we're going to select voltages. You can see in this example, we selected 12 volts DC and 120 volts AC. So that again, now pre-populates the modules with those voltages. So you're only getting things that you can actually use. Uh, then you take the different modules that you want. We're in the circuit breaker section here. We want this patch of CLB circuit breakers and toggle switches, and we'll drag that into the frame in the location that we want to use it. Then you're going to configure the individual modules. So just because you put the module in there, it doesn't mean we know what amperage breaker you want or what the label should say. So you'll actually go into the panel and you'll configure those amperages, those label names, anything that's configurable within there will configure in inside the panel module itself. In the top right hand corner, we're going to give you a list price. So you kind of know what you're working with in terms of cost as we move along there. Um, and then last but not least, you're going to save the configuration. So if you've logged in and created a profile, you get to save this configuration. And at any time, you can come back to it and work on it without even submitting a quote. So that way, it's kind of in your database to work on. The other nice piece is if you have a panel that you've designed and purchased, that configuration is going to exist in your profile forever. And if you want to go back and tweak it for a new boat, you can go in, make some minor tweaks, and then resubmit a new quote. So you don't have to build the panels from scratch every single time. I really like this feature as I build panels because you tend to build panels 
is a pretty similar boat over boat if you're working on very similar boats. And then you do get a high resolution image. So you can actually see what this panel is gonna look like. You can actually print out that, that image and place it on in the boat and see if it's how you like it, if the switches are kind of in the corners that you want it to be in. So that's a really nice feature of this program. And then of course, you're gonna request a quote when you're ready for that. That quoting process uh, will just take about three days and then you'll get what you want. So let's go through that quoting process. So after, um, after you send the quote, push the quote button, an email confirmation is gonna go to you saying, yes, we've got your quote um, and we will work on it and get back to you. You can kind of see at the bottom and that's the, the box that's gonna pop up. Once the panel is quoted uh, in three days, we will come back to you with both an image and a part number. So that part number will be custom to you. And the image will show you exactly what we're thinking of. If there's any tweaks, like things that we found that didn't make sense in your design, we will also bring those up then as well. And, and that's the time that you would want to bring up anything that's special that you would need in the panel. Um, and then uh, we, uh, we want to create a wiring diagram for you. So we want to make sure that you like what's actually happening on the back side of the panel because up to this point you're only seeing the front side of the panel so we'll actually create a wiring diagram of how the back side of the panel is going to work and that's a lot of time where the details are maybe you're going to want to bus some of those circuit breakers together or maybe you want to split some of those circuit breakers in half into different load groups and we will be doing all that then so we'll have you review the wiring diagram and kind of sign off on that before moving to the next step once you place the order and you say yep i like it the wiring diagram is good the image is great let's move forward you're gonna order that panel from your from West Marine Pro and then once that order is placed with us it'll be built and shipped within 10 days which again is much faster than a traditional panel all right let's get into building one so uh, I want to show you how to get there you can go to panelwizard.bluec.com or you can go through our friends at West Marine's website so I'm actually going to click on this link and we will go to the website. All right, so I'm here at westmarine.com and then we're gonna go to shop by category, electrical and electrical distribution. And right when you go there, you see there's a design, a custom panel link right at the top with Blue Sea Systems. So at any time you're shopping on West Marine site, you can do that same navigation to get here. And once you click on that, it's gonna take us to the Panel Wizard site. The nice thing about going through this path is you can see the West Marine banner stays with us. So that means that we know you're a West Marine customer. And so it makes it easier for us to quote so that when you want to submit your panel for a quote, we know who to work with at West Marine to get you that panel quote as fast as possible. So um, you can come in here and try the panel wizard for free if you don't want to create an account. But if you do that, you will lose anything that you create and you won't save it because you won't have a profile. So what I recommend is you create a profile and actually log in. It's uh, very little information, pretty much email, uh, email and password. So let's build a panel, as I said. So let's just build kind of what I would consider a, a normal panel. So a two by two panel. So that's two modules high and two modules wide. You can see I selected two by two. And now I'm going to have uh, these this frame size available. I want to do a mix of 12 volts DC and 120 volts AC because uh, that's obviously the most common in North America. And now it's time to pick our modules. So definitely going to want some circuit breakers. Let's go through here. These are our more popular circuit breaker options. I like the flat rockers. I think they look really elegant. So I want to pick 120 volts AC. So I'm going to have, let's see, eight, eight circuit breakers on the AC side. And per ABYC recommendations, even though we have a mixed voltage panel, we're going to want to make sure that the same voltages are in the same column. So this whole column on the right, I'm now going to use as my 120 volt AC column. So that means on the left is going to be my 12 volt column. And so on the left, I think it's going to be a little bit different. Let's do no circuit breakers and let's do our um, remote battery switches from Blue Sea Systems. Those are good. So this is one module that's going to have like a start engine, uh, battery, a house battery, and then an ACR, an automatic charging relay to combine the two. So I think that that one makes sense for my boat that I'm thinking about. And then I also want to do a meter. So, and I want to use one of our new digital meters, the new um, vessel systems monitor, 
or now I want to do the state of charge meter. So this is our, our DC state of charge meter. So that way this column on the left is all DC, the column on the right is all AC. So this panel is looking good to me, but you can see that there's no circuit breakers here. And then of course there's no labels. We don't know what the labeling should be yet. So let's um, load the modules. So I'm going to click this button. So first module, you can see where you are here on the little sub screen is going to be the one at the top left. So this column, I told you before, the left column is going to be 12 volts DC. So I'm going to label that column with the header. So now I'm ABYC compliant. Nothing to configure here because it's just a meter and we'll actually configure that meter once we get it because you can figure that uh, digitally in the meter itself. So now we've got some labels on our uh, remote battery switch controls. So like I said, I wanted to do a start battery. So you can drop down here and you can search for everything that we have that's traditional or you can just start typing. So I want to just start, do start. So start works for me here and then we can do house. We'll do house and then we'll do parallel, battery parallel, perfect. So this is what my labels are gonna be. Start, battery parallel and house. You can see they will be all caps. You can also see where they will be spaced out. So there'll be two lines of text onto this one. And that works for me. So I can start my battery on the left for the start on the right. It'll be the house battery. And then if I needed to parallel those two batteries I would do that with the middle ACR switch. Let's uh, let's do the next module. So this one I said is going to be our AC bus. So let's do 120 volts AC. Um, and I think these are all going to be 15 amp. All 15 amp breakers here. So I'm just going to keep picking 15s. Nope, I changed my mind. I want this last one to be an air conditioner breaker. So I'm going to make that a 30 amp breaker. And because we know that that's air conditioning, let's type in air conditioner. Perfect. It's already there for me. Um, let's see, this is going to be uh, deck lights. This is going to be, um, let's do something. Let's do a refrigerator. AC refrigerator. That works for me. And then let's do um, to a freezer because I'm a fisherman and I got bait. So we've got freezer, AC refrigerator, deck lights, and an air conditioner over here on the right. Let's do the next module. So let's say that I realized I needed some AC uh, source selection in here. So let's just say complete. And I went, you know what? I don't need that many circuit breakers. What I need is some source selection. So I want to change this module and I'm going to do source selection. All right, so 120 volt source selection, uh, perfect. I really like these sliding lockout ones. Let's go back in and configure that. All right, configure that module. And I'm going to have a 30 amp source, which is a traditional 30 amp source. So these are inherently raised rockers because that allows this, this slide to actually uh, be obstructed. So we're going to call this um, short power. Short. And then we're going to call this is a reverse polarity because it's a, a two pole. 120 volt, you got your hot and neutral. And then this one is going to be, um, let's do generator. So we have a generator source and then again, reverse polarity. Perfect. And this is also a 30 amp generator. All right, there we go. So now this slide will actually slide back and forth so that I can only toggle one of the shore or the generator uh, sources at a time. You can never have both on at the same time, which is exactly what I want. So I'm done here. All right. Now I know. I like what I see. 
Um, I see my list price is $1,133.89. And now this is the highest price it will ever be. This is like full retail price. Now working with West Marine Pro, um, they will give you a quote based on the package and the program that you have with them. So there's a good chance this will be less than that. And then now let's do a high resolution preview so we can actually see what we're looking at if we really like it. So as you can see, those labels populated nicely. We've got a 12 volt column with a, with a nice meter, the remote battery switches, 120 volt AC column. We've got four circuit breakers for traditional loads here. And then we've got our uh, source selection switches again on the AC side. So I'm liking this. I think we are good to go. So I'm happy with it. So now at this time, you would just click Submit for Quote, and now you're going to have your 360 panel quoted uh, through your West Marine Pro rep, and they will come back to you with your specific price. Now, I'm not going to quote that, um, but um, I am going to show you that after you do quote stuff, or at any time you want to save this configuration by clicking Save This Configuration on the right, you get a QRC code, and it saves it for next time. So that way, um, you can always come back in here and edit edit the panel again and not start from scratch, which I think is a nice feature. All right, I'm going to save this configuration and I'm going to say IBEX 2020 example panel. Here we go. Save as new. And you can see saving here. There it is. There's my QRC code. And at any time I can come back and I can edit this panel. All right, let's go back to the presentation. All right, so that was uh, how to design a custom 360 panel by Blue Sea Systems. And that was a live demonstration on our panel wizard. So I wanted to end with a message from our partners at West Marine Pro. So if you're attending this IBEX, which I know is a unique IBEX, and we appreciate you sitting through this presentation, they have some, uh, some offers for you. So there's some exclusive offers and some swag. Uh, but one of the big ones that I'm excited about, and I'm, I'm also actually a West Marine Pro customer, is new Pro customers receive platinum pricing until the end of the year. So if you sign up for West Marine Pro for the first time, you get their best best pricing structure and everyone likes a good deal and you could have the potential to enter and win that cool Yeti cooler on the right and we all know how expensive the Yeti stuff is so just make sure to talk with your local West Marine Pro rep in your region um, we want to offer that West Marine Pro would be willing to meet with you and speak with you in your respective uh, pro market team manager roundtable sessions that you're, they're having. And then they'll have a lunch and learn uh, at 1230 p.m. Eastern on Thursday of this week. And make sure you get to know everything that West Marine Pro has to offer to you. So make sure you reserve that because I guess it's a it's a defined amount of space that they have available. And of course, uh, thanks for joining us. Um, we will be having a live question and answer directly following this presentation as it finishes. So make sure to stick around. If you have any questions about the Blue Sea Systems panel program for me, I will be answering those live. If you have any questions for West Marine Pro, they will be able to answer those questions for you. And I look forward to getting those questions and comments and really appreciate you attending this presentation. And, and I hope that you're being safe out there. Thank you, everybody.